Google Jamboard integrates with Google Meet. In order to activate one, you would go to the three dots, you would choose Whiteboard Open a Jam, and you would either start a new Jamboard or you would choose one from your drive. Let's start a new one first. So we're going to start a new Jamboard. It will open it up in a different tab. And then what you'll notice is if I go back over here to my Meet, I can go in here and I actually have in my chat the link for the students to click on and go to. For the Jamboard itself, if I go to the Share Settings, I am going to see that right now only students can view. This is helpful if you share the link with them immediately. You can give them the directions first on what you would like them to do and show them the Jamboard. And then when you're ready for them to actually edit it and work with it, you would then go back to the share settings and you would make it so that instead of view, they would be able to edit. After that, students on Chromebooks might need to refresh in order to edit. For students on iPads, they will need to do the square with the arrow and not the pencil in order to interact with the Jamboard collaboratively. Let's do it another way now by going in and creating a Jamboard and actually choosing one from our drive. So we're going to go in and we've already created one. We're going to look for our Jamboard that we want to use and we're going to bring it in. And then again, if I go back to my Google Meet, I'm going to see that I shared that with my participants. If I go up here to share, depending upon how I have it set up, it's for view only right now. I can change it and see um, what I would like it to do. I can change it to edit after I go over the directions with my students and they understand how to do each of the sections. For more information about Jamboard and how to use it, please scan this QR code or go to this shortened URL and find out more about Jamboard.